Just made it to Abydos, so we are about 150 kilometers up north from Luxor. Weather is still pretty cold, even though it's 10.30 a.m. We're about to see one of the most amazing temples in Egypt. My group is still there, going through security check. Road was pretty good. I mean, I, I really like the fact that for almost one third of the whole trip, you're driving through the real life and tour operators never come here. It's the real life, the real Egypt. You see the people, you see the donkeys, you see the fruit market, you see all sorts of things. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. We don't know what those are. Flying saucer, helicopter. We don't know, but those are very intriguing. We're walking towards the Assyrian. Check it out. The largest megalith in all Egypt in a temple. As we get closer, we realize how huge, how massive, humongous this is. If anyone has ever been to Peru before, it's exactly the same, just like the Mykernos pyramid. It confirms my theory that the people who built that and built Peru at a certain time were the same people with the same knowledge and the same technique. We're trying to figure out a way to go down, but it seems that even with a small backshish, we can't. Because they say that the stairs are too weak. Estimated weight, all the blocks, 50 to 70 tons each. So there you can get a small sense of scale. Uh, you see the stairs that are going down. And you see the head of one of my guys. He's standing on the top of the stairs. And look how small he still looks. Uh, I want to show you the ground. And I want to show you how ridiculously complex and huge it is just to have a sense of scale look how small my foot is this place is absolutely ridiculous look at the details The police officer is going to pull over and going to give us some shuriken, that's the term. We will eat sugar cane. Take your clothes off. Oh yes. Belly dance. France. We finally made it to Dendera Temple, still with the original ceiling. And you will see that it's been renovated, so the, uh, the ceiling is not black. As it is on other temples, it's been renovated, so you see all the colors as they were originally. So now it's time to go. People are coming here, and we got a rush, because only 90 minutes to do all this. I feel like the hardest thing to do when I'm shooting those videos for you guys is to actually reproduce or give you a real sense of scale unless you come here of course but that's not the point the point is that i'm trying to shoot the best videos for you guys to make you discover all those crazy stuff and uh, just for the record the dendera temple is located about 60 70 kilometers up north from luxor and very few tourists actually do go there i'm gonna try to zoom Can you believe that some people actually did that and produced this place? Because I can't. 
if you look above your head, this is what you see. There are just so many things, and right now I'm looking at the ceiling directly. There are just so many things to shoot, it's almost impossible. This place is absurd. There are two things I want to show you guys. This first. Remember that we're on the top of the ceiling. This block here goes from there all the way to here, which is roughly uh, eight and a half to ten meters. And look at that. That goes from here, which is roughly five meters long to here every time I come here I try to understand a little bit better but every time I understand even less and less and less because nothing 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 makes sense here After that, we're gonna go to the crypt, and that's the thing I'm waiting for the most. So, uh, now going down the crypt. <sighs> and we're gonna check the Dendera light bulbs. This smells sm smells pee, right? Yeah. Out, we made it. Only one temple in Egypt. Only one temple in the world. We can see that. Okay, let's be honest together for a couple of minutes and tell me that you can create joints like this with your own bare hands. I'm not a stone worker, I'm not a geologist, but I do know stone workers and geologists and they're pretty clear. They don't know. We don't have to have an answer, but at least we have to be honest with ourselves and say that we don't know and we can't know. And we're out. The temple is closing now. 